Hi, 7th graders. Mr. Songer with you for lesson number 16. These are uh, going to take place out of your green standard of excellence book, and we are going to open up to page number 24 and 25. Actually, let's go 25. Uh, percussion, you should uh, be using a, uh, a bell kit in your mallets uh, for this, and then at the end we're going to do a couple snare drum exercises. Um, but start with your bells. And we're going to be playing some music from the Romantic era here for lesson number 16. And I will tell you which song you need to play for me, record, and uh, to get your full credit for this makeup lesson uh, in the middle of this video. So we're going to start on page 25, so open up to that. And the first song we're going to play is number 94, The Go for Excellence. And this is uh, a uh, excerpt from the Hungarian Dance number 5 by Brahms. And we're in cut time. Please notice your key signature. We got some flats, uh, one flat for you altos and berries, and up to four flats here for the uh, low brass flute oboe percussion. And uh, we're going to go uh, allegretto, which is a medium fast tempo. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now those last four measures probably gave you some trouble because that was really quick uh, to play eighth notes in a medium fast cut time. So we're going to do those last four measures again at a much slower 4-4 four, four time signature. So we're going to go ba da 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 Let's try that. Ready? And go. Now, hopefully that was better. You might even need to slow it down a little bit more to get more accuracy, especially, again, considering the key signature you're in. Like that first note of that phrase is a flat, D-flat, low brass, flute, oboe, percussion, B-flat, altos and berries, E-flat, clarinet, tenor sax, trumpet, um, A-flat, French horn. So you got a tough note just to start with, and you have that note several times throughout that phrase. All right? And then also, this is going, um, for the low brass as I'm playing, this is going pretty low. It's going down to that low F in sixth position, one and three baritones and tuba. So that's a tough little phrase. So feel free to stop the video and play that another once or twice just to kind of get the hang of that one. We're going to turn to page 26, and we're going to look at number 95, Scheherazade by Rimsky-Korsakoff. This one is andantino as far as the tempo, so that's a, uh, a, a slower, medium-slow tempo. And we're in 6-8, and so we're going to think of this uh, as uh, eighth note gets the beat, and six of them in a measure. And your key signature, much different in this one, okay? Uh, less flats and going into the sharps for the trumpet, clarinet, saxophones, okay? So here we go. I'll give you uh, four beats. And we'll go. Oh, one other thing. Check out the DSL coda. When you get near the end, you'll notice on that third line that there's a little break there. There's a DSL coda. You go back to the sign, which is almost right at the beginning, just not the two pickup notes. And then you play until you get to two coda in the middle of the second line. And then you jump down and play the coda. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs>
Okay. Let's move on to number 101 on page 27. And this is the Pilgrim's Chorus from Tannhauser by Richard Wagner. This is Andante, so a medium slow speed again, and uh, the temp or the time signature is 9 8. So, again, we're going to think of this um, almost as nine eighth note beats throughout the song. Okay? This also has a first and second ending. I should mention, too, uh, we had a couple uh, style words on these last two. That last one, uh, grazioso, you're going to play it gracefully. And then 101. We have sostenuto, which means sustained. All right, so here we go. One oh one. One, two, three. Ready and go. <laughs> And the last one we're going to play is number 102, Go for Excellence. This is an excerpt from the Promenade from the Pictures at an Exhibition by Mazorsky. And this one is in mixed meter. It goes back and forth between 5-4 and 6-4. So the quarter note will get the beat. If it's a 5-4 measure, you get 5 beats in the measure. And if it's a 6-4, you get 6 beats in the measure. So the beat never changes. It's just how many beats in a measure changes. And this is the song I would like you to record for me as your uh, makeup. And uh, you can also say, and make sure you state this in, in your recording or in the email you sent to me, that if you want this to count towards your playing test, because this is one of your three playing test songs, 55, 67, 102. So let me know that as well if you'd like that to count. Okay, so here we go. Um, mestoso, I'm going to go kind of a medium tempo here. Uh, mestoso, by the way, means majestically. Here we go. One, two, three, ready. Now, if you are a woodwind or brass player, you may stop and uh, go ahead and do your recording for your makeup. If you're a percussionist, we are going to do just two more quick things on the snare drum or your practice pad. And if you want to uh, pause the video to get that ready, you may. Um, we're going to go to page 20. 
26. Actually, hang on a second here. Yeah, let's do 26 first. And uh, at the top of the page in the orange box, we have a rudiment called a drag paradiddle. And the drag paradiddle, as you look in the orange box, you can see there is a, it starts with just an eighth note. And we'll start with the right hand, just like it says in the book. And then you do a drag that proceeds for 16th notes. Okay? And those 16th notes are, uh, the sticking pattern on those is a paradiddle. All right? So think of this, uh, I'm just going to kind of say the rhythm to you here. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. That's your rhythm. And it's the beat two that you put the drag on. So it's one, drag, and three, and one, drag, and three, and one, drag, and three, and. And then on the three, and, make sure that's where your diddle is. That's where you have the two right strokes. So right, drag, left, right, 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 drag, left, right, right, with the drag being a left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, right. I said that wrong. Right, left, right, left, right, right. Easy for me to say. All right. So let's try that. Drag paradiddle. We'll just do exactly the way it is in the orange box there on the top of page 26. One, ready, go. Let's do it again. Now, keep in mind, the second half of that, everything alternates, or everything is switches. So you start on your left hand. So you do a left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? All right, here we go again. One, two, and ready, go. Okay. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, turn to page 28. And we have a double drag tap, another rudiment, uh, also in the drag category. Now, as you look at this one in the orange box, you'll notice that basically we have six eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there are drags on beats one and two, and then beats four and five. So a double drag tap goes drag, drag, left, drag, drag, right, drag, drag, left, drag, drag, right. Let's try that. Just the same as it is in the orange box. Ready? And go. We'll do it again. Ready? And go. Okay, so that's your double drag tap. Percussion, you are done. Thanks for listening, everybody.